Scott, here, oh man. <laughs> Electronic Arts is toying with the idea of adding games with ads once again. They're gonna put ads in our games? What, what, why, why? What are they doing to us, Scott? Oh, is this the borders of <sighs> the hockey arenas that we're playing NHL oh. on? Because I could, maybe that would work. Maybe, right? Grant Taylor here over at Insider Gaming. Electronic Arts CEO Andrew Wilson recently divulged that the company is looking at the implementation of dynamic advertisements in AAA games. This isn't anything new for Electronic Arts, with many of the company's games having featured real-world advertisements over the years, a concept that for EA goes back some two decades. However, that we're, uh, what we're learning about here is known in the business as DAI, Dynamic Ad Insertion. This is a more intelligent way of relaying commercial content to users based on their habits, history, and interests. In a recent earning call, Electronic Arts CEO spoke about the topic of injecting dynamic adver advertising into AAA games without mentioning what games they'd be. Ugh. Quote, this is what he said. <laughs> advertising has an opportunity to be a meaningful driver of growth for us. We have teams internally in the company right now looking at how we do very thoughtful implementations inside of our game experiences. End quote. For the longest time, the concept of being shown advertisements in games has been a sticking point for the industry. Most recently, players have been taken aback by invasive ads in certain platforms, with some deciding that sudden full-screen commercials are a good idea. Uh, says who? Typically, advertisements mm -hmm. in games are confined to billboards, posters, and product placement opportunities, such as the Monster Energy beverages that were guzzled in Hideo Kojima's Death Stranding. That was a unique one, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, Dead Island had energy drinks, too, but they were just generic brand energy drink. And that, yeah. that was an opportunity missed, I suppose. Yeah, not Monster Energy, but it is Hideo Kojima, so you can do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right? Uh, Scott, how do you feel about this? This one sucks to me, man. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, full screen ads, invasive ads, nobody wants that. Nobody liked pop-ups since the day they were born, but... Nope. Now, there's a big, there's a big hear me out here. This is predominantly, this could be applied to sports games. And where sure. does advertising come up in sports? Well, around the borders, you know, outside of the venues, in some of the peripheral stuff. You might get a hero or a, a celebrity drinking Mountain Dew for a sponsor kind of thing. Yeah. I could see that being in the game in a very, very minor way. And I'd be okay with it. I might not even notice. It's sure. the border of, you know, I go hip check somebody in the boards in nhl and it says pizza pizza on it that doesn't bother me no but if you're playing battlefield and all of a sudden an ad pops up and now you get back to the game dude that's a problem oh. right <laughs> I'm, a, I'm about to jump into the game so it's not gonna be mid game but here you are you boot up the game you're getting in there there's the main ui right so you're about to select your game mode pff, ad pops up uh, uh, what if they really right? do put it in battlefield <clears throat> because I remember a few years ago, there was talk about what if we could charge people for reloading the gun? And I don't remember who, that's a paraphrase. Yeah, yeah, so sure. Forgive me if that's a little bit off. <laughs> I don't recall who it was that said that, but I'm very angry. Yeah, nobody wants ads. Dude, you watch a YouTube commercial, or you watch a YouTube show and the commercial pops up, right? And that kind of stuff. You get it with us too, it's just part of the business. But at the same time, it is one of those annoyances, right? So it's kind of, man, you're about to put it into our game now. We'll see how this plays out. It's not the first time that they've tried it, so we'll see how it goes. Keep up to date. Let us know over at ITGTV.com. Is this upsetting you at all? 